This is problem 16.17, it's on page 728. A 64.4 pound cylinder bar is supported by a cable and an L-shaped frame. Determine A, the acceleration of the system at which the tension between B and C in the cable is 30 pounds, and B, the system acceleration at which the tension in that cable, TPC, is zero. Let's make a sketch of this problem. Here's ground. Here's the frame. They include it a little bit off the side, but I didn't bother with that. It's not really important to the problem. Here's point C. And the cable connects over to point B, which is a point on the slender bar. It goes down here and pivots on the frame. Now this is a, a 4, 3, 5 slope, so 4 here, 3 here, 5 on that side. And we've got the slope. And this is the 64.4 pound, well, I'm going to write pound mass. Of course, it weighs 64.4 pounds force, slender bar. Now the distance here is 4 foot, and they've made this easy for us. So that that makes this distance three foot, and of course the length of the bar five foot. Now I'm going to define this dimension as L, and I'm going to define this dimension as H, because I prefer to use symbols in my equation. All right, so we want to find one acceleration in the x direction uh, when. T, B, C equals 30 pounds force, when there's 30 pounds of tension in that cable. And two, the acceleration when T, B, C is zero pounds force. That's what we want to find. Let's start off with a free body diagram and a kinetic diagram. And let's see, A, Y, A, X, weight acting in the center, and tension from the cable. And then that would be equal to the kinetic diagram, which has MAX and MAY. As usual, we've got our Cartesian XY coordinate system. So now it's all set up. So let's sum forces in the X direction to start. Let's see, I see AX and I see the tension in the cable, so minus TCB, that's equal to uh, the mass times acceleration in the x direction. Let's sum forces in the y direction, that's AY minus the weight, and that's MAY. Now I'm assuming that this does not accelerate in the y direction, so this dynamic force I know will be zero, and so therefore AY is equal to the weight. And then let's sum moments about point A. And the reason I'm summing moments about point A is because it gets rid of AX and AY. I really don't care about those two. I want to eliminate them. So let's do that. And what would we have? Well, let's see. Negative L over 2 times W. Remember, L is my horizontal distance. The center of gravity of the bar is acting, uh, or the center of gravity of the bar is at the center of the bar. So that's just two feet over, it's two and a half feet up the incline, but it's just two feet over in the horizontal direction. That way I don't have to deal with sines and cosines. I just want the horizontal moment anyway of the weight W. So that gives it to me, and of course the weight causes a negative moment if counterclockwise is defined as positive. But then the tension in the cable also causes a moment. And the height H is the moment arm for that tension and it's causing a positive moment. So this would then be equal to, uh, well, let's see. I just realized that I, oh, I know what it is. I thought I missed a term. There'd be I alpha, uh, let's see, if we're summing moments about here, then MAY would cause a positive moment. So let's see, plus, what would be the moment of that? That would be L over 2, M, A, Y, but of course this is 0. And of course this term is 0 too because <clears throat> we're assuming that this cable or that this uh, cylinder bar does not angularly accelerate. The last term 
that will not go to zero is the moment of the horizontal dynamic force. Now that's causing a negative moment, so I've got to write negative h over 2 m a x. Okay? Now let's rearrange this and solve for the acceleration in the x direction since that's what we were supposed to find. Let's see, it's right here. All I've got to do is invert and multiply these terms to the other side. So let me write negative L over 2 W plus TBC H divided by negative H over 2. Uh, oh, let me not forget the mass. That's all of this needs to be moved to the other side. Okay, simplifying just a little bit, looks like I could uh, multiply the top and the bottom by 2. Uh, maybe a negative 2, that would give me what? LW uh, minus 2 TBCH divided by, let's see, I multiplied by, so that's MH. Okay. And so now to calculate the acceleration in the x direction, all I have to do is plug in numbers. The length L is 4 foot. The weight is 64.4 pounds force. Notice it's not pound mass because the equation called for weight. Minus 2 times the tension. Now for, for question 1, the tension is 30 pounds. So 30 pounds force. H is just 3 foot divided by the mass, but the mass is 64.4 pounds mass, not pounds force. And then H is again 3 foot. Now notice that the feet all go away and we're left with pounds force per pound mass, which we need to convert to feet per second squared. So let's multiply by 32.2 pound mass foot per second squared per pound force, and then we've taken care of our pound force pound mass problem, and we're left with feet per second squared. As a matter of fact, this comes out to 12.93 feet per second squared. And that's the case when the tension in the cable is 30 pounds. But what about when the tension in the cable is zero for, for question two? Well, in that case, this whole piece is gone. And we just have LW over MH. So let's write, let's write that. LW over MH. Notice that W is just MG. So we can cancel that. And this becomes LG over H, right? And so the length L is 4 foot. The height H is 3 foot. Takes care of L over H times 32.2 feet per second squared. And that comes out to 42.93 repeating feet per second squared. So, to get the tension of the cable to be zero, we have to accelerate at more than one g, uh, this frame. 